Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video, I will show you how to create a linear regression model. So basically, I have done all the background work leading up to this point. So this is assuming you've done all your all the process, like you've cleaned up your data, you have done your encodings and basically your data is ready for linear regression modeling. So in this video, I'll show you how to create a linear regression model and to create this linear regression model i am going to be using scikit to learn and if you've seen any of my videos you know i absolutely love documentation so just a quick um, overview of the documentation it has very few parameters the linear regression model from scikit to learn has few parameters in it and then it has um, different attributes that we can assess after we've built the model using these parameters and then um, it comes with different methods so these are the different method that you get and also and also i wanted to show something i'm not going to be using this end jobs when i build the model this end jobs basically means um, how many of your processors to use at the same time if you want the computer to use all the processors in your computer you use negative one if you want your computer to use all the processes except one so you have one available for doing other tasks while you run your linear regression model then you put negative two you know and then negative three and so forth and so on so and this end jobs is just to speed up the process most times for linear regression you won't have to use end jobs because um unless you're working with a really large data set you won't need it but if you're doing something like a random forest model or if you're doing um grid search cv then or random search cv like you may need um to use ngers but i just wanted to point this out but we won't be needing it all right with that being said let's go ahead and do our linear regression model to use the linear regression model we first have to import it so we have to do from sklearn.linearmodels import linear regression. If you are working offline, if you are working in Jupyter Lab or in Jupyter Notebook or in VS Code, you may have to install scikit-learn in your environment first before you use it. So remember that I'm working in Google Colab, so I know I already have scikit-learn. And I'm going to instantiate my circuit to learn by I'm going to call it LR is equal to linear regression. And I'm not going to pass in any parameters. So I'm just going to do x train dot head just so you can get a preview of um, the data I'm working with. And um, this is the data here. I've done a whole lot of cleaning before we got to this point. And I'm just going to do y train just again so you can just get a preview of the data. And this is just a preview of the data. So let's go ahead and actually uh, build linear regression model. So I'm going to call it LR model. It's equal to LR.fit. And in this case, I want to fit my X train and I want to fit my Y train. And let's go ahead and execute this. In Google Collab, Shift Enter runs the code cell and create a new code cell below it or enter the code cell that's already below now let's go ahead and use our model to make predictions so we're gonna call it y pred is equal to lr model dot predict and we want to predict using our s test so I have I already have an S test data frame established. So we're using this model right here that we just built using our training our uh, data set to make predictions using our test data set. And let's go ahead and run this and let's do Y pred just to see what we get. So this is our Y predictions and of course this is um, a data frame right here. And this dot 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 means just you know stuff in between it. So basically, this is um our Y predictions. It's not showing us the whole thing. We can do a few things with our prediction. We can do something like Y pred. 
whitebread.main yeah that's not right <laughs> All right, so you can see that our predict at uh, the mean of our Y prediction is 91. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a baseline model for your regression problem. And uh, if you look at the baseline model for our regression problem, the predicted mean, the mean of our prediction for our baseline model is 93. And the mean of our model using linear regression is 91 so that's very that's pretty close um to the baseline model and if you want to learn how to establish a baseline model for your project i suggest you go ahead and watch the previous video i'm going to link it in the description above or below <laughs> or you can just search my youtube channel you'll find it there so now we need to actually um, use some metrics to find out how good or bad our model is and we found out if our linear regression model is good or how good it is by comparing the error from this model to the error of our baseline model so in the previous video i looked at the error for the baseline so whenever you're working with a regression problem and um, whenever you're doing a regression model you need to calculate the error of the model to kind of find out how wrong the model the model is and the goal of like improving your model is to reduce that error so let's go ahead and calculate our mean absolute error and our mean squared error and then compare the mean squared error and mean absolute error of our linear regression model to our baseline model so to calculate, so this is the mean absolute error. We simply do mean absolute error. And we provide, and we provide the true value. In this case, the true value will be our test data set. And then the predicted value will be our predicted value. And I'm gonna go ahead and calculate the mean squared error. And let's call it MSE, mean squared error. And again, we'll provide the true value, which is our right test, and provide the predicted value, which is our right predict. This mean absolute error and this mean squared error is significantly lower than what we had earlier. And this is, um, for linear regression model and let me go ahead and print the one for our baseline model below it so i went ahead and printed out the mean absolute error for our baseline model and the mean squared error for our baseline model as you can see here our baseline model mean absolute error is 24 but the mean absolute error for our linear regression model is 5 and then the baseline model mean squared error is over a thousand and the mean squared error for our linear regression model is 50 and of, of course you know in a linear regression model your goal is to is to find a model that will reduce the error so basically this right here just using a base a basic linear regression model is already giving us a better result than just the baseline so that's really good in in general, that's it. Um, in this video, I just focused on showing you how to create a linear regression model. In the next video, I'll show you how to explain a linear regression model. So we are going to look at the coefficient of a lin linear regression model. We are going to find out which features in our data set contribute the most to our linear regression model. Basically, we are going to be like, okay, so we have our linear regression model now we need to be able to explain it and then we need to find out which features you know which coefficients contribute to this model so the next videos will be focused on explaining linear regression model that's basically it for this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you made it this far in, this, in the video and you didn't like it please give it a, do a double thumbs down and still subscribe to the channel 
And you can visit me online at evidencen.com. This is my primary website where I have my data science blogs. And to get access to this notebook that I use in today's video, you can go to machinelearningeducation.com. This is a platform I built where I put all my resources in one place. And once you are here, you can go to my free data science resources. Or you can just go to machinelearningeducation.com slash free. And here you will be able to get access to my free data science resources where I put notebooks like this one and other resources. And I make a lot of YouTube videos and blog posts. I just find it easier to put all everything, all, everything that I use in one place. And sometimes I publish my videos inside this platform first before long before I make it available on YouTube. So any notebooks that I use in any of my videos can be found here. Again, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.